crazy breaking news. Sebastian Vettel has announced his retirement from Formula One at the end of the 2022 season. Now, obviously, a big announcement, which I kind of didn't really see coming. I'm actually a bit shocked, to be honest. I personally felt like he had one more year in him. I think that he was probably going to do one more year and see where it kind of goes. Just watching the reactions just shows how popular Sebastian is and that he is just a staple on the Formula One grid. I mean, he's been part of Formula One since I was a kid, you know, a very, very long time. And uh, to see that he is retiring was, I mean, it's crazy. So he started an Instagram account, which I woke up to this morning. And when I looked at it, I feel like the the words in the bio kind of were a little bit revealing. But I kind of thought, no, nah, he's not going to, I don't think he's going to retire. It's, I don't know what this is. But now, in hindsight, you know, it, it is very much like, okay, <laughs> it, it was going to happen. He was starting his Instagram account account for a reason and I feel like still a race to win was kind of very cryptic in a way. I think Sebastian is a very special Formula One driver, very special talent. I mean when a driver is really hated for how good they are and how much they are dominating it says a lot about how good they were and what they did in the sport and winning four straight championships and winning nine races in a row in 2013, I mean, and that's not even half of it. That's just scratching the absolute surface of what he was able to achieve and some of the performances that he put on during those Red Bull days, you know, and even earlier when he was uh, just starting out and he was a young guy coming into the sport, he made his mark uh, in below average machinery and he just did fantastic things and has become a real icon of Formula One and a driver that I thought one day was most likely going to be the person that either matched or beat Schumacher's seven world championship record. It's not often you have drivers come along that can really get an entire sport infuriated with them, basically, because they are so good. And, you know, a lot of people will say he went from the most hated to the most loved driver. And that is pretty true, I think. He obviously has some things that he wants to focus on outside of Formula One. His family, you know, you just have to respect that. I mean, he wants to spend more time with his kids and his wife and focus on what's important to him outside of F1. And, you know, you just have to take your hat off to that and respect that because he's just a, a good guy, I think. And um, I think he definitely isn't finished in Formula One for good. I think that he has a lot to offer the sport post-retirement, definitely. I think he will do amazing work if he is to work within the FIA or just generally as an advisor in F1. I think he has a lot to offer, a lot to give, and plenty of things that Formula One can benefit from. He is a very intelligent person as well. He's definitely got a good head on his shoulders, and I'm excited to see the next chapter uh, of his life and see what he does and things like that. But um, I'm not going to go into speculate who's going to replace him next year, but we'll get into that another time. I just want to appreciate Seb in this moment, because on his day, he was simply untouchable on his day. He was fantastic. Anyway, Sebastian Vettel has announced his retirement. I mean, I wish him all the best for the future and whatever else he chooses to do in his life. I'm sure he'll be a busy man and enjoying the time that he deserves with his family. So thank you very much, Sebastian Vettel.